Hey, it's Kim and welcome back to Pokemon Breaks. Today we have a really fun unboxing video. I have a Radiant Eevee collection. I was so excited to finally get my hands on one of these. In my opinion, this is the best product that was released with the English Pokemon Go set. It comes with eight booster packs as well as a pin and a really cute playmat. I'm super excited to get into it. If you like these kinds of unboxing videos, please leave me a like. And if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. It helps a lot more than you realize. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so this is the box that comes in. We have a really sweet Radiant Eevee promo card. There's the pin, the play mats behind, and we've got eight booster packs to get into. So I'm really excited about this. If you manage to find one of these, I would be really interested to know what your pulls are. I've watched a few people open them and it seems like the results are quite mixed. I think it's always the case with any product that you get that there's gonna be different rates of success. But I have seen some really lucky unboxings with these as well as some really disappointing ones. I think in general, with a smaller set, this one is not dissimilar to something like Shining Fates. I would hope that I will get a reasonable proportion of hits. I'm also really pleased that the promo card that I got is pretty well centered. It looks pretty nice. So that's exciting. We've got our eight booster packs. We'll put those aside. And I'm also really excited to have a look at this play mat because it looks really pretty. I have definitely done my due diligence to stay away from spoilers from Scarlet and Violet. I do think though that that Eevee card and the design on the mat are hinting that there's gonna be a new evolution. But please don't put any spoilers in the comments if you know <laughs> about what's coming because I know there was a bunch of stuff that came out this is so cute. There was a bunch of stuff that came out that I have just really tried to steer clear of. So we've got a very sweet Eevee. I think I'm going to leave that as the background for this unboxing because it is adorable. So let's get into these booster packs. Like I said, there's eight in the box. It is a pretty generous give in terms of how many packs you get. So with eight packs plus the mat, plus the pin, plus the promo. It's a, it's a really nice product. So I am super excited to have gotten my hands on one to open. We've got a Psychic Energy to start off. Pokestop, Un Pheasant. This is my first time opening the English Pokemon Go actually, but I have opened a couple boxes of Japanese. So the art isn't completely new to me. Very sweet Charmander, a palm. I love the Sozo artworks in this set. The Squirtle and the Bulbasaur are just to die for. They are so, so cute. We've got a Pidoff, Namel, Reverse Hollow, and it's a Ditto, that is amazing. And a Melmetal Hollow. So this is similar to other special sets that we've had, where in every pack you're gonna get at least a holographic card. Hopefully we get something a little bit better. There are some really nice alternate art cards in this set, for example. I'd love to see a gold card or a full art at least. All right, we've got Blanche. See, a full art trainer, that would be a win. Ariados, an Incubator, another very sweet Charmander. Apom, how fitting is that artwork? They are so frustrating to catch in the game. More so, so. Magikarp, this one really freaks me out. I don't know why they're out of the water. We've got a Reverse Ivysaur, and this one actually has all the Pokemon that could be Ditto. So it's got the Bidoff, the Nummel, and the Spinarak, which is really cool. Ooh, and an Executor V. So excellent, we did get a V card. That's a win. So hopefully, I think my favorite cards out of this set would have to be the Full Art Mewtwo and the Ultra Art Mewtwo. And I also really like the gold cards. So fingers crossed, one of those would be a great hit, but it is nice to see the artworks in English. I have seen a few unboxings where the print quality was 
really not great. And so far, I've got to say, I'm pretty pleased. The cards feel pretty good. They look reasonably well centered. So I think I got quite lucky with my box, which is really good. I love this Natu, so cute. Got a reverse of the Charmander and a holographic Galissapod. Beautiful. So fingers crossed. We can always hope. Can always hope we get a good hit, but at the end of the day, there was a lot of value included in this box just from the playmat, the promo, and the pin. I think that is a definite win. We've got a Steelix, that's an artwork we haven't seen yet. Zatu, really detailed background from this artist, which I always think is really cool. We've got Candela, a Spinarak, really sweet Pikachu. This one definitely makes me want to buy Yellow Converse because it's so cute. Wimpaws, Pidove, another beautiful Soso -so artwork. We still haven't seen that Squirtle. How interesting. We've got an Onyx. Ooh, and a holographic Articuno. Absolutely beautiful. How interesting. We've seen heaps of the Bulbasaur, quite a few of the Charmander. No Squirtle yet. No Secret Rares yet. But we still have a few packs to go. If you have opened some Pokemon Go though, I'm curious to know what your best hits have been. I probably would have expected to have a slightly bigger hit this far into this box given what a small set it is, but maybe all of the fingers saved up for the end. We can only hope. But that being said, well printed cards, well centered. I am happy with what we've got so far. So we've got a holographic Tyranitar. Absolutely epic artwork there. I do like the special holiday sets. I think they're a little bit more fun to collect. I really enjoy Shining Fates a lot. Um, Hidden Fates was an absolutely gorgeous set. I think it is really fun to have these smaller sets where you're looking at, I mean, it's not enormous. It's reasonably easy to finish the base set. Even if you wanted to get the secret rares, it's relatively approachable, which I think is quite nice compared to something like Fusion Strike, where it's just enormous and there's no way that you're going to finish it. So I am really excited to make a start on my English Pokemon Go binder. It looks like we've got something in the back of this one. So hopefully we've got a secret rare. Slaking V, okay, another V card. That is good. We do have at least a full art card. So we've got a few more packs to go, two more to be precise. I feel like I might need to lower my expectations a little bit. Like I said, I have seen a few very successful openings of this particular product. Seems like mine is probably gonna be a little bit more average and that is okay. We've got Zatu, Steelix, <laughs> super cute Chansey. I absolutely love this artwork. Oh, we finally got the Squirtle, the beautiful So-So Squirtle. I'm so pleased with this artwork. The background is absolutely stunning. I love the art style. Another cute Pikachu, a Wimpod, Alolan Rattata Pidove. We got a, another Alolan Rattata, but the reverse this time, and the holographic Gyarados. Absolutely gorgeous holo on that one. Oops. Oops. And we have one more pack to go. I'm gonna bless it up. Sometimes that gives me better luck. Fingers crossed, I get something that is outside of the base set. We could get a trainer, we could get a hyper rare, some sort of full art. I really hope we get at least one good hit. So we've got fire on the front, so hopefully, hopefully this is the pack. We've got a Slowbro, Candela, Pupitar, Ambipom, a, another gorgeous Natu, super sweet Bulbasaur, again with that so so artwork. We've got a Tranquil, a Lolan Raticate, Reverse of the Blanche, absolutely beautiful, and a full art Executor V. Last pack magic, here we go. So at least we got one secret rare. Super stoked with that. Oh, it's not even a secret rare. It's not even a secret rare. At least we got one hit. So we got a full art a Lolan Executor V. Really pleased with that. We can put that with our regular Executor V. It is well-centered, which I'm happy with as well. So we did get one hit. 
Overall, we didn't get any really crazy hits, but we did get that cool full art Executor V, which is really fun. Um, the biggest thing for me was actually getting the EV promo card, the pin, and the playmat. So I'm super excited to be able to add those products to my collection. If you have had better luck or worse luck with this particular box, I'm really curious. Leave me a comment down below to let me know what you pulled. Until next time, please look after yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye. In my opinion, the best product that was released, which... Why don't words come out when I want them to? They don't come out as words. They come out as like... <laughs> Hey, I <laughs> know, oh, wasn't deep breathing. Um, but I have seen some really lucky EV box. I said used to facts. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Where's my alt art Mewtwo?